Hello everybody, I'm RK Woods and welcome to my shop. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful Wahoo game board. My Wahoo board is basically an 18 inch by 18 inch square. And I'm going to take these two boards, they're uh, four quarter uh, walnut, and they're roughly 120 inches long, they're roughly five and a half inches wide, and I'm going to cut these down strategically and I should be able to get three Wahoo boards out of these two boards. To get that full 18 inches that I need for the, the Wahoo board, uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to glue some of these boards together to get the width, and of course I want to do that after the milling process. I also have to be very, um, very careful to avoid any knots. Now these these two boards don't have a lot of knots, but there there's a few in there, and they could they could cause some serious serious problems for this project. So I'm gonna as I lay these out and I figure out what part parts of the board I'm gonna use, I'm gonna be very uh, careful to, to mark around those knots and try to get those uh, try to get those completely out of the project. I'm going to start over at the miter saw. I'm going to cut these down and then I'm going to take them over to the joiner and planer and I'm going to get I'm going to get all my boards good and square and ready to be to be glued together. <laughs> I'm going to play with these boards and I'm going to keep rearranging them until I find uh, boards that actually look like they go together. I think that right there is a fairly decent matchup. I'm ready to edge glue these boards together. I'm going to do that and I'm going to apply uh, clamping pressure using these five K-body clamps. And after I do that, I'm going, to, I'm going to let the glue set for maybe 20 minutes and then I'm going to remove the clamps and I'm going to scrape any excess um, squeeze out off of the the boards because it gets really hard it, it gets really hard to sand that stuff off if you let it completely cure
sanded this down to 180 grit and I really just need to decide which side of this board I want to be the, the top. Um, the top's going to be the side that everybody sees. Um, this side is a fairly consistent color. This side has a little bit, a little bit more variance in it, but I, th I think for a game board, I think that's more visually interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to keep that side on top. This is the template I'm going to use. Um, I made this template probably five or six years ago, and I've made several boards with it since. Uh, I basically just drew a grid on here, and I spaced all my lines one inch apart, and then I took a, a 9 16 uh, drill bit. I think I used a spade bit, if I remember right. I took that bit, and then I just I, I drilled these holes, and I made this pattern. And if you use the 9 16 bit in conjunction with this, this marble bit, then this, uh, when you use this template, this bit fits in these holes and it's spring loaded and uh, you get a very consistent, um, a very consistent pattern for your marbles. That's, that's how I did that. And I'm going to take, <clears throat> I'm going to take the template and some double sided tape. I'm going to paint some of these holes to represent each player's home base and I've, I've selected colors that will uh, match the marbles that are going to go with this. I'm just going to use uh, some of my cheap glue brushes and I'm not too concerned I'm not too concerned about the uh, getting paint on the outside of these holes because after this paint dries, I'm going to come back and I'm going to I'm going to sand the top, so that'll get rid of that'll get rid of that paint. I've installed a round over bit here at my router table and I'm going to use that to ease all the edges on the top and the bottom of this of this board. I went ahead and I gave this one final sanding uh, with 180 grit uh, sandpaper with my ROS sander and now I'm going to apply a coat of tongue oil and then I'm going to put a top coat on that and I'm going to use a, a satin sheen uh, polyurethane. I'm going I'm to spray that with my, my Earlex HVLP. I'm just going to rub this in really good. board is really thirsty, but I'm just going to give it as much as it'll take. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to let that dry for at least a few hours, and then I'll uh, come back and I'll apply my top coat.
Well, that concludes today's video. I think this board turned out uh, quite nice. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future content. And if you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. And uh, we will see you next time.